All this month, get up to $50 off any Android smartphone from Appalachian Wireless. Any Android you desire. All $50 off with two-year agreement. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless and East Kentucky Network Company. For about two years, residents who traveled across this bridge near Big Hackney's Creek in Pike County have noticed it deteriorating, which has caused them all to worry about their safety. The guardrails and things has been all been up. The bridge has been separating and the pylons has been bad ever since I've lived here. But their frustration grew when they felt their concerns were falling on deaf ears. I have been told nothing, nothing. And I have asked our magistrate to check on it, call me back, and I've heard nothing. And as you can see now, the bridge is closed and has been for nearly two weeks after a resident made a phone call to a bridge inspector with the Kentucky Transportation Cabinet's District 12 office in Pikeville. He was concerned about a crack in, uh, the, in between the beams. And when we went and did our special inspection, we found that uh, the beam had settled. The tension rod was basically the only thing holding the beam, so we decided to close it immediately. Now, residents are forced to travel a narrow single lane road that runs along the river to access a different bridge and they are once again worried about their safety for both themselves as well as school buses. And you go down through there, you can see there's no guardrails. The weeds are all the way over to the blacktop. And that bus, when it runs, it's got to get right over next to that river. And if it drops over there, it's a 30, 40 foot drop. And winter time's coming on, and it's going to be hard in the winter time. Knowing the bridge closure has increased traffic on this narrow road, Pike County officials have agreed to improve it. They've got a lot more traffic than they're used to, and once they get used to traveling, some people are probably not used to traveling that way at all, but they've got two ways out there, and so we just need to make it safer for them so they get, you know, get aware of the environment that they have to travel in now. But the good news is that Highway District 12 officials already had this bridge on their radar. This bridge... Uh, was already in the process of being replaced before the closure. So the closure will probably speed up the process of getting the bridge replaced. And that is a solution that makes everyone happy. In Mouthcard, I'm Shannon Deskins for EKB News.